I'm gonna show you how to turn this into a version of this. Hi everyone, I'm Angelina and this is Blueprint DIY where we remake our clothes to be just as unique as us. I, as always, am super excited, but guys, like literally hold on to something. I promise you, it's gonna be a ride but it's gonna be worth it. If you watch my runway inspiration videos, I highlight my favorite runway shows for the current season so that we can see what we can upcycle, what we can use to create our own dream designer wardrobe. So I was highly inspired by the Roke Spring 2023 runway show. Uh, it was it, like literally, it was me. Like every piece pretty much I would have worn. So this skirt in particular was one of my top what do we have, top eight? And a lot of you wanted to see me do this skirt. So this week we are using a lab coat. Um, it could have been just two wide skirts, that would have been fine. But when I saw these lab coats, I said the fabric is almost like a canvas. So I said, that'll be fine for this. I just wanted something with a little bit of a weight to it. And um, so I found these for $4 a piece. I have two of them. They both say medium, but one is wider than the other one. But you know, what you gonna do? So the first thing I'm going to do is just take these, lay them out and cut them right across underneath the arms. Just simply because that's the right kind of like maxi midi length for me. Should have lined up the snaps rather than the length. I wanna open them up and connect the opposite snaps. At least all the snaps the same. Oh. At least that part lines up. So now I have one big tube. Um, whatever you're using, whether you're using two skirts, whatever, you just wanna get it to the point where you have one big tube. And I didn't talk about the fact that this has inside, well, it has fake pockets so that, you know, when you're in the lab, you can reach into your actual pants, you know, whatever you have on. And then it has this inside pocket. One lab coat was actually smaller than the other. So I'm gonna put the wider of the two in the front because I know I definitely want more pleating in the front. I think I'm gonna take my waist measurement and roughly add in the pleats, then go try it on and adjust it. Waist measurement was 34, half of that is 17. So I am going to take a ruler so we could put it there just to kind of be a guide as I am pleating. So Inspiration skirt has big, deep pleats. So we are free to put in um, let's use clips. Let's be safe today. All right, so, whoa. Ugh, I knew that was gonna happen. That's why sometimes pins are better. So it's still too big. This is looking like a hot mess right now, but I have pulled through before, so let's see. All right, so. You can see I'm struggling. I'm struggling. Let's talk about it. I like how wide it can be at the bottom. I actually like the having this box pleat in the center. I like having the snaps hit on the side. Uh, where it falls apart for me, how this on this side is sitting. It's like, it would be different if these snaps came this way and those snaps went that way, but these snaps come this way and those snaps go that way. You know, pockets definitely have to come out because they're doing weird stuff. I don't like the back. <laughs> I don't think that's doing anything. And I really think I'm gonna need more zipper, so. <sighs> All right, so uh, this is what we have. Um, I ended up, so if this is the front. Remember we have this box pleat in the front. What I ended up doing is having the opposite in the back and it's just kind of flat in the back and all the pleats go towards that center box pleat in the front. Right now this is really giving holly hobby. So, um, 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 um. all right. So what I did was this is the box pleat right here. I just turned it so that the snaps are here, you know, what is given is giving much better, much better vibes for me. And so I like what it's doing now, but I need to figure out, I like this side, not too bad, but where I had it flat, 
we gotta figure that out because now it doesn't look right here so now i just gotta figure out the back which way this pleat should go because now that this is asymmetrical it feels like there's pleats going every which way which is fine i'm yeah i'm digging this this yeah this is better we are putting in a basting stitch and a basting stitch is just a straight stitch that is long. So it has the same, it can have a regular tension if you want, or you can make it loose, but I don't want it to gather. So I'm going to make it a regular three or four tension. My tension is on four, but I am gonna make it the longest stitch so that if I have to take it out, it won't be hard. All right, so now we have our seam in just a basting stitch we're gonna go ahead and take out these inside pockets and we're gonna go ahead and open up this little opening you know take it apart so that we can sew it up i'm not adding any pockets or anything because these pockets aren't hitting where pockets should be so i'm just gonna call it you know quits on the pocket idea although it would have been amazing with pockets but we're gonna go ahead and just take all this stuff out all right so now i need to make a waistband i'm actually gonna make it in two parts because i'm gonna leave this part so that it can open and then this part so that it can open it'll make sense later on when you see the zippers but so i'm gonna make a waistband that is this long and a waistband that is this long before I go and sew it, I'm actually gonna iron it the way it needs to be ironed. Kind of like a seam binding. Let's fold it down the middle and it has small folds on each side. And then we'll fold them inside out and sew them on the ends. Now that we have the waistband sorted and have it the right size, I'm going to go ahead and seam rip these two parts of the waistband apart so that I can pin the two waistbands on. And now I'm gonna go and sew this waistband on and then we can start adding our zippers. And if you haven't subscribed, definitely hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a thing. This is part of my Upcycling My Dream Pinterest Wardrobe series and it is going so, so good. You don't wanna miss any episodes. So definitely subscribe so you don't miss a thing. And if you are interested in planning out your upcycles, boy, do I have something for you. I made a planner specifically for upcyclers. There's a digital version as well as a hard copy. So definitely check the description box for the link to purchase that. And if you're already a subscriber and you're interested in behind the scenes footage, as well as maybe some classes by me then definitely hit that join button to learn more about becoming a member all right we are back and we have the waistband on and i knew there was a reason why i was telling myself to wait for the waistband you have to take the waistband off to get the zippers in but let's talk about these zippers you guys know that i have been using zipper by the yard like crazy now that i know how to use it and let me tell you I should have ordered it because I would have saved myself $30. These nine zippers, I have nine zippers in total. They were $47 with using two Joann uh, Fabrics coupons. So I would have been able to save myself $30 if I had a bought the zipper body yard. I got different lengths, which I think is gonna look so good. I have, these are closed bottom. All I need them to do is open from the bottom. I don't need them to open from the top. And then the two that are on the parts where the skirt opens, those are separating zippers, but they're turned upside down so that you connect them at the top. And then you, you know, you can close them or open them, you know, that way. All right, I'm back with one side um, that I've done and I did it specifically without recording so that I can learn first before I try to teach. So now I have to do this side. Well, let's do this first. Snap this in place. I tried it on, I had it on, and I marked where this should be so I know where this zipper should line up. And I'm moving that extra layer out, out of the way because I'm only, I only wanna sew it to one layer. All right, so now that I have this zipper in place, I can go ahead and, um, separate these two. All right, so we'll put this one to the side. So I'm just gonna take the, the waistband off all the way from one end to the other. I'm not gonna take the ends off because that kind of keeps it in place. In order for the skirt to look like it zips to be straight, I need to line everything up that way. So then I can move these zippers up and I also need to take out a lot of the basting stitch. 
Okay, so this one's gonna go there. And I'm only going to pin it to the blue side for now. Last one. So like, if you see, like, if I sew this just straight down, then it's gonna go through layers that it shouldn't go through so that this skirt could actually flare. So all I want is for it to be sewn down to right here. So now I can go, that'll be pretty easy. I can go and just sew that down. Sew this one down, give me a little bit more. Sew that one down, sew that one down. This one, yeah, just need to sew it to right here and sew this down. And you might be wondering why I'm not using a zipper foot. It's because I hate the zipper foot for this sewing machine. It's really weird. And now we can line it back up. I think we're lined up. Okay, cool. Now we can pin the other side. It needs to go just to the top layer that it needs to attach to. And that's the hard part because then you're like, you have to undo all of this pretty much. But you don't wanna lose it, you know? So I'm gonna take these layers right here and pin them to each other. Okay, so that exposes that. So now, this one, oh, okay. This one is hard because it needs to be sewn only to the pleats because it's a box pleat. It's gonna get weird. So now we're gonna go to the sewing machine with the black thread and we're gonna sew in this one, this one, this one, and this one. And then we'll go back and do the weird one, which would have been way easier if it had been a separating uh, zipper. We need to get our final zipper on. The zipper that gets me in and out of this thing. All right, so now we can take this loose and go sew this zipper down and sew these back on. And of course, I'm not gonna sew the pins in. Make sure when you sew it on the waistband, the pins go down. I thought I was gonna remember. I do not. And that's that. All right, so I am super excited that we got through that. I will say that this skirt did not take very much sewing skill. As far as sewing skill, it didn't take much. It took creativity, yes. And it took patience <laughs> and it just took some the ability or the willingness to drape. That was the biggest thing, me trying to drape the pleats and get it just how I wanted it. Of course, you can make all your pleats the same size. That would make your life easier, and especially if you're using raw fabric or a tablecloth or something like that, it would make your life easier. Um, I'm working with what I have, which is what I'm used to doing, and I love how things like this turn out because they're not perfect. They look kind of off in a lot of ways, and that's just my style. So let's see how I styled it. love this. You guys saw at the beginning, I was a little bit apprehensive about it. Um, just wasn't my style at first, but it is definitely, you guys can tell, it's definitely my style now. The zippers, the contrast of the black on the blue, just absolutely perfect. I did have an idea for a top or a jacket that I want to make to go with this. Of course, I didn't have enough time to do it before this video. So this t-shirt did just well, just tying it up in the middle. And this t-shirt is for sale in the merch shelf down below. So if you're interested and you want to be unique as well as support the channel, you can do that. Let me know in the comments if you're gonna make one, how you're going to make yours, because there's so many ways that you could do it. And you guys always have the most amazing 
creativity. And if you put it in the comments, it can help someone else. So if you made it to this point of the video, definitely I want to give you guys virtual hugs and love. And I want to say a, um, oh, just a big, 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 humongous thank you from the bottom of my heart for all the well wishes on me being on the Drew Barrymore show. I will put the link to that in the description box again one last time for anybody who missed it. But thank you guys so much. And moving to my office, all the blessings that I've been receiving lately. You guys have been absolutely amazing. I just want to say thank you. All right. Definitely have other videos for you to watch right here. Don't miss the rest of this Dream Pinterest uh, wardrobe series. And I'll see you in the next one. All right. Bye.